Imagine if every employee had a magic wand and he could implement his idea or his innovation in companies. Wouldn't that be absolutely fantastic? What will be the real challenge for the next couple of years is as technology is becoming more and more powerful is how we interact with technology. So the basic team, successful team of the future is me and my machine. Average will not make it in the future, so we need to find a way to get significant above average. And I think time is putting more pressure because it's not only technology disruption, but business models changing as well. So we need to continue to reinvent ourselves and contribute more to real problem solving, to business outcome and solving real problems of our customers and society. And we are just trying to figure out within less than a generation what's going to happen in a disruptive digital area. And no one can say, predict, or even imagine where this is going to. That's the reason of the workshop. If we create things that do things that have never been done before, great things may come out of it. We just don't know. Maybe nothing will come out of it, but you don't know where innovation is going to come from. Big data is changing the way we will be doing medicine because that will put new data, new information, new knowledge, and at the end of the day, improvement of the health of the citizens. Copernicus was wrong. The sun was not the center of the solar system or the universe, but the, the human being is. And the human being, as connected, will have uh, more, more choices and be much more proactive in uh, his or her decisions as a connected human being. Infrastructure has to serve us to make our life happen. So we have to create participatory infrastructures where we all can participate to make our own thing for our own good at our own time in our own place. Design is making devices, infrastructure and the society as a whole as functional as it possibly can be and all the infrastructure as invisible as it can be. This wonderful creature that we all can learn so much from the honeybee, which um, sets the great role model for us for how to behave, how to self-organize, how to work together to make the world a better place. Today we're talking about transformation. Right? So if your business in five years is going to be 50% new things that don't exist today, you don't have a chance by making things a little bit better. You have to reinvent, you have to actually create a new business a direction that has been laid out in this workshop is the idea of a swarm company. Not this monolith centralized structure, but a swarm company that uh, emerges, evolves, is much more flexible. Seeing and hearing these other viewpoints and also being somewhat surprised about it, like, hey, this is, this is how you can think about it, right? The ability to really kind of sometimes jump starts or kind of get over hurdles through that kind of thinking this triggering of thinking beyond the evident, beyond what we know, that's fundamental. So if we now start that process with our customers also, we can maybe look at and not be uh, imposed by the disruption and influence it and be part of it. Right?